Hello everyone, Rob here with ScrappyDoo.com, and this is another Shortcuts a Lot 4 uh, video, I guess. Uh, now, if you guys are hunting for Shortcuts a Lot 4 videos, make sure you come over to the classroom. Uh, that's classroom.scrappydoo.com, where we have over four hours of video lessons, no ads, no advertisements, no nothing. Uh, it's all in an organized fashion, right? A lot of hard work has gone into this, so make sure you come check it out. Uh, you know, and sign up for the class. There's also a website or a Facebook group, I guess, where you can go ahead and sign in the Facebook group so you can get your questions answered in case you're having an issue, all right? Now, let's go ahead and get into the question of hand, which is, can you do uh, a tiling effect on a large image? We're going to assume that this heart is very large. And the goal in, of it, anyway, is to slice it up into sections so that we can later uh, cut it and piece it together because maybe your cutter doesn't cut, you know, maybe a 24 by 24 piece of uh, shape here. But what you can do in Shortcuts Lot 4 is, you know, put some squares together and go ahead and finally piece it together. All right. Now, if you have, uh, you know, Shortcuts Lot 4 Pro, this is called tiling. Uh, however, if you have the standard version, you're not really having access to that feature of tiling but this sort of uh, will simulate it and how you can do it is going to be in this video all right so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new page and I'm gonna go ahead and put a heart on there like I said this is uh, you know we're gonna assume that this heart is very large you know maybe bigger than a 24 by 24 mat and your cutters uh, can only cut 11 and a half by 11 and a half maybe uh, for you Cricut users out there that are using uh, you know your Cricut Explorers. So how can you do this? Well, basically, uh, you, you size up the heart or however big it is, or you size up that shape. Uh, in this example, it's the heart. Now we need those uh, those basically. How can we get those puzzle pieces on here? Well, uh, we need a square. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a little rectangle. Now, what you're gonna want to do with this is make it the size that your uh, your machine can probably cut. Uh, I know some some folks you're gonna have to look in your instruction booklet to see what the size regulation is for it but we're gonna go ahead and uh, you know hold the shift button down make that a perfect square and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sort of puzzle piece this stuff together so with that square selected I'm gonna need lots of squares in order to basically slice out a section of the heart uh, one by one but I'm not gonna do it one by one I'm gonna use a few of the built-in tools inside shortcuts a lot so we got the square let's go ahead and duplicate this under object and then we go to duplicate now with this uh, we're gonna go ahead and add some columns to it all right then we're also going to add some rows to it make sure it covers the entire heart and now the horizontal spacing and vertical spacing uh, for now I'm going to go ahead and push the down arrow just to get us all the way down to zero same thing for the other one now I wish that was it but we have to trick shortcuts a lot for that there's a little tiny gap in between each one of these squares in order for this trick to work so I'm gonna go ahead and delete the zero and put a one I'm gonna do the same thing to the other one and uh, do the same exact thing and make sure that uh, the group duplicate is there what this will do for us it will create the grid that we need like I said it will trick shortcuts lot four into thinking that there's a very tiny gap in there which there is uh, mathematically but really you won't be able to see it with your own naked eyes all right so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the OK button so look at that we just made a grid all right now once we have the grid I'm gonna go ahead and select it over here in the layers panel like I said it's all grouped together anyway but I'm gonna go ahead and go to uh, object merge alright so that's the next part of the trick now I'm ready to select both the uh, the square and the heart uh, but for for uh, for this purposes right here I'm gonna go ahead and change the color of this because uh, you're gonna see here that you're gonna have some extra shapes out of this and you're gonna want to be able to uh, delete those unneeded shapes so um, go ahead and make it a different color than the the shape that's underneath now when I select both items so you, we can see that the heart and the big grid that we created are highlighted now it's time to go to the effects menu and go to the knockout so uh, gap of course set to zero gonna do a quick preview and hopefully if everything goes right we'll have a nice sliced up heart okay and that's what it looks like I'm gonna go ahead and click OK now th this next part um, I'm just gonna go ahead and right click it and we're gonna do break apart and we may see some some straggler pieces 
uh, that we really don't need. So if I hide the main heart, you know, we, we have these little grid lines and basically this can be deleted, really not needed. And then now we have the, the main heart and uh, of course, you know, now they're in its own individual pieces, all nice for you. All right. So hopefully that helps you if you guys are trying to do uh, a tiling effect uh, inside Shortcuts sure Lot 4. All right. Now, if this video has helped you, make sure you subscribe to our channel for some more videos as well as check out our classroom. All right. There's going to be a link in the description below for you to go visit there, sign up for the course, sign up for our Facebook group, and get help with the questions that you may have uh, because that's what we're here for. All right. We're all here to learn and uh, learn and help each other. All right. So until next time, I'm Rob with Scrappy Doo. I'll see you later. Bye.